This one is problem 1.14. It says the bracket ABC is free to swing horizontally on the vertical rod. Estimate the forces transmitted to the vertical rod at A and B when a 900 Newton load is applied. Show magnitude and direction on a clear sketch. So what is important here is to understand what will happen at point A and point B. Since it is free to swing, there will not be any movement coming at point A and point B. The reactions that will come at point A and point B will be forces. So since both point A and B, if you consider this part of the structure, this is not allowed to move in x direction and y direction. This will have a reaction coming in the x direction on both points. So let's call this Fax and this one as Fbx. Similarly, in the y direction also, this will not be allowed to move. So we are going to have these reactions which are Fay and Fby. However, in the z direction, if you notice, only at B point, it looks like it, the motion is restricted. But at A point, since it's a slot, it is free to move. So the reaction in the Z direction will be only existing at point B. And let this is FBZ. So again, to solve for these forces and moments, what we follow is the static equilibrium conditions. And for that purpose, we need to find the force balance as well as the moment balance. Okay. So if you look at the force balance equation on the structure that I have drawn here, this part of the whole structure, in the x direction we have forces which are Fax and Fbx, so net has to be equal to 0. Similarly in the y direction we have Fay plus Fby equals to 0. In the z direction, we have Fbz and minus 900 newtons equals to 0 because this force is acting downwards. That's why negative direction. So if you look at the number of unknowns now, we have total 5 unknowns appearing here and we have only 3 equations. That means we need to look for 2 equations from the moment balance. Now for such problems, which are in three dimensions. For moment calculation, I always prefer that you use the vector form of this formula, which is moment at a point is given by R cross F, where R is the location of force and F is the vector representation of the force. So in this case, we need a point about which we are going to do the moment balance. Since three forces, FBX, FBY and FBZ are passing through point B, that's why B is a suitable option for us because all of these three forces pass through that point. That's why they will not contribute to any moment. So if I do moment balance about point B here, I can write this as a vector. Okay. Now the moment will come because of the forces that are at point A and point C. So let's write whatever is hap happening at point A as RA cross FA and in addition to that RC cross FC. Okay. Now here we have to remember this RA and RC they are written with respect to point B. Okay. So let's start writing these vectors. So if you look at RA how do I reach point A starting from point B? The only movement I have is along the Z direction. And how much we are moving is the 75 mm two times. So RA can be written as 150 Z direction means K cap. And FA value, what is the force at point A? There are two forces, which is FAX and FAY. So we can write FAX I cap plus F A Y J cap. Similarly, I can write R C vector. So how do I reach point C if I start from point B? For that purpose, I will be moving by this 300 mm in the x direction, which is right here. So I can write 300 I cap. In the y direction, I will be moving by this distance, which is 225 mm in the 
y direction that's why j cap and the z direction i'll be moving only one of these 75 mm so that's why 75 mm k cap now the force at point c is only one force which is acting downwards in the z direction so we have minus 900 newtons and the direction is k cap so now if you do this the cross product can be written in the matrix format i cap j cap k cap similarly for this point c i can write i cap j cap k cap and <clears throat> the first row here will be the numbers coming from your r so this is ra this is fa so if you look at ra we have only 150 so i 0 j 0 and 150 goes in k cap and for the force fa we have fa x appearing here and fa y going there there is no z force now for the c point if you look at your rc i cap is 300 j cap is 225 and k cap is 75 in terms of forces we have no x and y component only z component there so now if i do the determinant of these two matrices i can find out the cross product so with i cap if i hide this row and this column I get 0 times 0 minus 150 F A Y and if I do it for this J cap it's going to be minus J cap and we are going to get 150 which is this and this times this so minus 150 with a negative sign here F A x because 0 times 0 is going to give you 0 minus 150 of x and the k cap when we do this same calculation if i do this hide this too this time this is going to give us 0 so there is nothing happening in the k cap there now if i repeat this <coughs> calculation for this part here your i cap there is going to give you minus 900 times 225 your j cap is going to give you minus 900 times 300 and again in this case also if i go to k cap here this two zero zero so there is nothing that comes out there now the total moment for static balance should be equals to zero so now what we can do is we can look at individual i component and make that equals to 0 j component and make that equals to 0 so from the i component i can write 150 f a y minus sign and minus 900 into 225 equals to 0 this gives us the value of f a y equals to minus 1350 newtons likewise from the second equation we can write 150 f a x which is for the j cap plus 900 times 300 equals to 0 and this will give us the value of f a x equals to minus 1800 newton okay so we were in search of two added equations we got these two equations one from i cap one from j cap and we got the value of f a y and f a x now if you refer to the earlier equations this is what we had here so we have got the value of f a x so f b x is nothing but negative of f a x we got the value of f a y and f b by is nothing but negative of f a y from this equation we can clearly see f b z is equals to 900 newtons so now our final answer to this problem will be that at point A we have FAX, FAY and point B we have FBX, FBY and FBZ there. So all of these values we have figured out but FAX is minus 1800, FAY is minus 1350, FBX is negative of FAX so it becomes 1800 newtons and fb by again negative so 1350 newtons and fb is that we have seen 900 newtons so this is the final answer to this problem